That's for sure, ja. Yeah. <laughs> jeg lukker noget der. Er der en, du ikke ved? Ja. Um, what did you do in there? <laughs> Try to perform, you know. Yeah. Uh, no, I think um, today he was he was really nice in the beginning, uh, quite relaxed in the canter, um, and I really kept the energy during the Piafas Ice Tour. And uh, yeah, I think the music was super today. And then the crowd, I have to mention them every time, was yeah. just you know entering the arena totally silent, really, and then just lifting the roof uh, once we were finished. It was just totally amazing and and the the wildest thing I've ever experienced when it comes to the crowd. Yeah. Really. And you you had a personal record. Yeah, you? also that yeah, quite yeah. nice. You know, uh, it's not about you know that 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 score, but of course it's nice to have like eighty five. That's quite amazing. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had like four ten, so you take it easy. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll go home back home and watch uh, Patrick's freestyle because oh. he had like four ten. Three three and two nine point eight. Yeah, yeah. Well, crazy. Yeah. So. And how did it feel compared to the Europeans? Uh, the Europeans was quite different because it was also about the team. Um, so when you're with a team, it's, it's a bit different, you know, the, the feeling, the spirit is, is um, different from today. Um, but I was here with my own team and it was just great to share with all the Danes. Um, in Sweden, there were also quite a lot of Danish people uh, cheering for us. But today was, when it comes to the atmosphere, quite exceptional for me. Yeah. And how is uh, Herning Boxen? I think, to enter I, I think it's side. actually, um, I was quite afraid when I saw it the first time because Cassidy can be very tense when he enters a quite small, tight arena. But I don't know if it's the fact that the sound kind of it goes up instead of, you know, down uh, over you. So so I, I had a great feeling and I think um, it's been the best indoor show I've ever uh, attempted. So I'm very, very happy. Good. And you beat Isabel. How did that feel? <laughs> Yesterday I was like, okay, now I'm going to retire. <laughs> I finished, yeah. You're a bit too young for that. So. <laughs> no, but uh, it was not a goal, you know, just that. But of course it's fun and Isabel is laughing. And yeah, it's just, you know, I, I know it's on Johnson, but still, you know, she's number one in the world. So of course it's quite fun. And Patrick, it's your first time here in boxing. It's my first time in boxing and yeah. I gladly come back again. Yeah. I was for a rider and uh, it was like, yeah, how is everything like super good, super good, super good, cross, super good, 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 super good. So it's uh, it's an amazing show and I can only, just what Catherine said, the, the audience when you, you know, even for me, it was not Danish, you know, they're all standing up, they're giving you, they're clapping in the last center line. Uh, it's so much emotions and it's so like cool to ride in that atmosphere and I have to say the horses even if they're very sensitive they're getting used to it now yeah. and I think it's so I always said that for many many years it's so important that we get the audience to you know they can clap they can cheer they can stand you know what I mean it, it is good and we need that for the sport so you see that the horse is just developing more and more in, in learning to accept that and when you ride out and you look up and it's like wow you don't even know what to look actually like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's crazy so i i gladly come back as i think you know like daniel said five riders over 80 uh, for me personal best uh, with the new scoring now three times a 10 and two times 9.8 which is very good and as the sun is said if i do a little bit more passage i actually will get five times 10 which was the, which is my goal and uh, the guy who made this freestyle said that it's the most difficult one ever made so that is also cool so, you know, all the hours you spend at home, it's yeah. fun to do. So, overall, how do you feel about your own performance? Very, very happy. It's been really good. It's like great judges, great atmosphere, great everything actually, basically great. It's, and lovely colleagues to be around here. Yeah. And Daniel, uh, you and Zach, it's been quite a journey for you, but uh, two great rides. What, how did it feel in there? It was so amazing today to crack the 80% for the first time in my life. And then here, among these riders, the world best riders, was quite emotional for me. Um, and then in, in, in Denmark and with the audience here, like uh, they, took, they took two set, it was just amazing. I mean, and I have now made him up from being not so fantastic and going ups and downs and ups and downs and now finally come out where it's really going to show how good he actually is. And how is this arena to ride in? It's fantastic, but now it was the third time that I rode with him in there. I rode Amazing. small tour <laughs> and I rode in March in the CDI three star. Oh. And now, so I have been in there with him three times and he likes it every time. And it is just amazing. But today was special because with so many people sitting there, that's quite uh, a feeling. And Susanne, you're the president of the Grand Jury. How did you feel about the dressage you saw today? 
I had I had the same feeling as the riders. I got so emotional, and I think the last three or four riders, I nearly had to have a tissue to <laughs> clear my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, the the tests and the music and and the, it was really really uh, fantastic to judge, and uh, I have regards from all all the ground jury that we saw super rides and great sports. So it's really an honor for us to to judge those <coughs> good riders. And it's it's sometimes very difficult to to uh, to differ them because they perform so fantastic all of them, and uh, we did this uh, degree of difficult system again. It it we haven't done it since the World Cup final, but the riders and us as judges are coming more into it, and and uh, I think it works really really good. Mm. I I learned uh, Pat I gave Sir Patrick some tips. some advice yeah. tips to get. <laughs> And Jens, 10 years with World Cup in Herning, or in uh, Odense, and uh, now it's the first time in Herning. How is it to be here? Um, actually, we've been waiting for that since uh, the U uh, European Championships in 13, in, uh, at the soccer stadium. We had the we had delegation from FEI up here to look at the at the arena, and uh, there had been some issues uh, to to do it, and now it's here, and I think it was great. I think it's uh, I said we had expected it to be a fantastic uh, place to have it, and uh, now we just have to go on to get the final and uh, the things we can <laughs> yeah. go for and good. So uh, we'll keep we'll keep on going. We're we're very happy about it for sure, yeah. and. Uh, also, of course, of because of the performance today. Yeah, and I think uh, you know, I, I spoke to some of the uh, the audiences yesterday, and they were like, okay, it's the first time we're attending attending a show like this, and okay, this is really fun. Uh, so you know, I, I think because you've made this, um, it, it is quite quite tight. So you kind of feel how many people that that's in the arena. So even the audience were like, wow, we're good. Come on, even more power on. So they actually also thought it was quite. Fun. Yeah, but even though it's a big arena, it's still like mm. that's at atmosphere. Oh, and it, yeah, okay. so uh, and exactly. that's also one of the reasons I think you are writing that well on you. Mm. Yeah? Could be. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, you really, you really give uh, everything today. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah? yeah, that's for sure. And thank you for that. Mm. <laughs> good. Is there any questions <coughs> from any of you? <coughs> What is your schedule for the indoor? Um, before this show, I, I didn't really have any. I wanted to attend the uh, Patrick show in, uh, in Stockholm. Thank you. Because I did that last year and it was really, really top, top, top and super amazing. So uh, I'm going for that. Uh, beside that, uh, I actually don't know yet. Uh, before this competition, I didn't want to do the World Cup, but maybe I'm a bit more on it now. You know? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I have to go back home and plan. You know, I want to take care of him. And of course, I'm aiming for the World Equestrian Games next year. If he stays fit, um, so I don't know yet actually. It's a bit unclear. Uh, I have quite a lot because I have three different horses now, so I'm in that lucky situation. So I will do Leon with Dea. Then I will, of course, also as Catherine, also attend the top 10, sub top 10 final in uh, Stockholm, obviously. And then I will do um, Geneva the week after with Well Done. And then directly to London and do Dulani will go in London, then the second qualifier for him. And then it's a little bit of a break and off to Australia. Yes, I also planned um, the World Cup season with Zach, uh, and my next stop is Salzburg in December. And from there on, I'm planning to go to Amsterdam. And then if we need it, we may be Neumünster. Uh, it's not really planned, maybe Neumünster or Amsterdam. I mean, see how it goes in Salzburg. But, uh, <laughs> Thank you. Is there another other question? Then you are. Oh, congratulations! Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.